this at once. Go. Is he scared because his finger's still on it? <laughs> okay, are you the recording? Yes. Okay. Hey, it's Mr. Marshall with Miss Phone Fighters. I got Harrison here. The cameraman. Who's actually the cameraman. Um, but he's, he's helping me with the project. And that is, we're creating a new FPV. And this is the, we couldn't really come up with the name of this. We just call it the Tiger Drone. I'm sure that we'll come up with something else. Wolf Spider. Wolf Spider. I don't know. We'll, we'll think of something. This is just a prototype that me and him are working on. Um, and uh, we just kind of put together a you know, foam board plane to test out our new FPV gear before we put it on our Snowhawk, or sorry, the Stingray. Um, and Harrison, why don't you, you know, go ahead and talk about the controls and what we put on this bad boy. Well, this um, plane, it's obviously based off of a World War II fighter bomber. So what we have on here is we got our big Viking Stingray motor on here. And we have our... Mushroom antenna. Mushroom antenna. We have our receiver down here, and we have the GoPro up in here. So yeah, we have uh, the rudders, the aileron elevator, elevator, and the ailerons. And we sync the rudder and the ailerons so it can turn without problem. So yes, because what, what did we happen yesterday? Yeah, problem. <laughs> yeah, we had problems. <laughs> So we, it was wonky. We, yeah, we took it out and we, we flew it, and you guys are going to see the footage here soon. But when we took it out, um, we had to, you know, of course, use the rudder. And I'm not very experienced with flying with the rudder. So um, as you can see here, we got it hooked up. When we turn right, okay, the ailerons um, will work right as well as the rudder will work right as well. So if I want to go left, go this way, right, this way. And elevator, of course. Yeah, this is our biggest plane servo-wise. We have five servos on here. Yeah, so. five servos on here. Just standard little nine gram Metal Gear servos. Um, you know, like I said, we got the GoPro up there. Um, we got a new helical antenna on our FPV. Come over here, Polly. On our FPV ground station that we want that we're gonna try out. Uh, we're not trying to go for distance. We're just trying to see about video quality and um, you know seeing the difference between you know our our standard coaxial one with. Or not the clock, but our st standard patch antenna with the new stuff that we got. So, um, these next couple of videos is the videos of us testing it out, and then uh, we'll probably come back to this when we get back from spring break, and we'll test out with just the standard aileron elevator mix that we have on just one controller. I think that's going to give us a lot better results, um, as well as being able to let the other kids fly, because there's just no way that we're going to have our kids fly with the rudder and uh, and Elgron on it. Oh, yeah, both sticks is going to be way too confusing. Yeah, so, anyways, check it out. Pretty cool. Stay tuned for some more flights of the Tiger Drum or Wolf Spider. Uh, cool. Okay, we're out here with our newest drone. I'm um, doing some test flights with it. We got all the weight in there. We even got the GoPro on the front. We're that confident. We have not flown this thing besides doing. Um, our glide test. So we have the ailerons, okay, then we have the rudders, and we have our elevator. Okay, perfect conditions to fly a drone and crash it today. This thing is really heavy. I don't know if I should run and throw it or. I want to like, just run and throw it. You're gonna hit your hand when you let go. Right? Well, I'll let go in time. And it's gonna go it's forward. Go. <laughs> yeah, I might like cut you on your shoulder. You gotta trust me, man. I'll have 911 on speed dial. Well, I can't throw it off the side. I have to go like this. Alright, here we go.
Wobbly. Why so wobbly? Wind picked up. Yeah. So, yeah, because I'm I'm constantly cranking right. Let's see. All right, heads up, guys. Combine some of the servos and, and, and stuff, and make it uh, make it so that it's controllable just by the right stick. Because there's no way the kids are gonna be able to find this, just because um, you know you have to turn both the sticks. I mean that's that's hard to do. And even for me, I I, I just can't do it. And this motor mount, I gotta figure out a different way. To, I don't actually mind it though; it just pops out, and we just glue it back in every time. But uh, other than that, it flew okay. It wasn't great, but we might have to, you know, take it back to the drawing board and do a few more testing. Thanks for watching.